protein it's a thing try it out it helps things that grow like a human being so these were the comments in the past and where are these people now Hey Frugivore, welcome back. We are on Carolyn Desler's page because she just had a baby. She just popped out a baby and she is fruit based and she had so much criticism about eating the way that she does, which is largely raw till four. So much criticism of people saying, oh, you know, you're going to get all these problems. Where's the protein? All that stuff. And you know what? She popped out a perfectly healthy baby as we knew she would, right? Of course. And the baby is so cute. Looks a lot like her partner, Piers, actually. And, um, yeah i just think she is very adorable and healthy and that is what is important that she is healthy and she's eating a fruit-based diet so we're going to check out uh, what i eat in a day here from caroline so this is just six days after giving birth which i think is amazing i've been following her journey the whole entire time and she shares so much intimate details i think it's amazing so let's watch it what i eat in a day six days postpartum it has music so i have to have it off but okay, <laughs> very cute. So celery juice, green smoothie, lots of bananas there. That is great. Very healthy. I highly recommend a green smoothie. Such a tiny little one. Oh, <laughs> and the fruits. So she's having lots of fruit. She's having lots of medjool dates. She loves dates a lot. Okay, and so she's having a roasted carrot, avocado, salad and dressing. This is later in the day. That is yeah, well, it looks delicious. It does. And um, and then cucumber salad, potatoes, broccoli, and curry dressing. That looks fantastic. And uh, her recipe book, she does have some great recipes in there. I have just about all of them, I think. And um, yeah, it's they're great. A lot of potatoes, right? There's nothing wrong with potatoes. You know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have a high protein diet and, you know, have heaps of protein powder and stuff like that, you know, to have a healthy baby. You know, she's been eating like this the whole time. Like she said, her, her diet barely changed. You know, her diet barely changed. This is her six days, not even a week after. She barely looked like she even had a baby, <laughs> right? Like she said in her comments that she's got so much milk. Hang on, she says here. Um, yeah, she says what she has here and, oh, she said in the comments, oh no, here we go. Here's everything I ate to fuel my body. Um, she has an, having an abundance of breast milk and isn't that amazing? And this is one of the latest little videos. <laughs> Very healthy, you know, problem. A fruit-based diet is optimal if you want to have a healthy pregnancy and baby. It literally is how we should be eating. And, you know, and Caroline has showed living proof of this and she was getting so much, uh, like, just hate for it, you know. She was getting so, this is her just before she popped. She's getting so much, um, you know, people just saying, this is really unhealthy, you're so irresponsible, but you can see it's just, yeah, people just don't know, they're uneducated. And I'm really thankful that Caroline has showed the whole procedure, you know, the whole process. And by the way, I'm 16 years in on a fruit-based diet. Okay, 16 years in, maintain the same weight for like 12 years now. It's kind of crazy. And like, I would be doing something else if it didn't work, right? If it didn't feel good, if it didn't taste good, I would be doing something else. Obviously still vegan, but yeah, another way. This is the way that works. Check out my books. A link is in the description and change your life. So let's check out uh, what I eat in a day when she was pregnant. Okay, people were giving her a lot of, um, well, there's a saying like a lot of curry in the comments. So let's check it out. So ginger water, okay, celery juice, green smoothie, great. It's got a plum oatmeal. So these are all low fat, high carbohydrate, pumpkin energy balls. There's clear, clearly like a fair bit of food here. Sweet potato soup, so comforting. So not as much fruit as usual, but still a lot, right? Still a great amount. And yeah, so in the past, you just saw a few comments like protein. It's a thing. Try it out. It helps things that grow like a human being. So these were the comments in the past. And where are these people now? <laughs> now she's had a healthy baby. There's no one in the comments saying, Oh, wow, like, that's amazing. Like, I'm surprised because you weren't getting any protein, whatever. Low calorie intake isn't good for growing a baby. Like, she literally showed so many of those pumpkin balls and someone's still saying that. I don't care how nutrient-packed your meals are. 
Calorie wise, it's far too low, too little protein. If you actually calculate it based on what she showed, it's not too little calories or protein at all. Poor baby, not getting enough protein. <laughs> oh gosh, that's the whole day. <laughs> like, you know, if you if you have like green, green smoothie can be a lot of calories. This one also can add up the calories, that's for sure. And then look, these pumpkin balls, energy balls, they got oats as well. You know, I'm not saying she ate them all, but if she, let's just pretend she did or ate a lot of them, that's that's a lot. That's a big whack of calories. So I don't know what people are talking about, sweet potato soup, but they just want to pick on the vegan, right? Especially the fruit-based vegan. So yeah, she's doing great. She did great. She, she produced a baby and the baby is healthy. Let's have a look at her story. This is her latest story just today. 15 hours ago, breakfast in bed. <laughs> I'm exclusively breastfeeding and not using any formula. There you go, right? And that's how it should be. Highly recommend eating a healthy vegan diet for an abundance of breast milk. Exactly. I'm glad she said that. And um, hang on. Oh, we're we going back here. My skin has seen better days, a little exhausted, but we had a good night, easy feeding and no crying. That's great. I mean, of course, you're going to be whacked around a little bit, right? When you just have a baby. And there's her night routine, which is a bit disrupted, which is, of course, expected. And best 10 days of my life. Still sometimes can't believe she's out of my belly and with us all happens so quick in the end. That is so good. And this is her dinner. This is another dinner. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks very similar to how I eat, how I recommend and love that there's so many potatoes. Caroline definitely loves her spuds. And you can see she's in great shape. Every morning smoothie, yes. <laughs> Very cute. So she's a bit sore. I'm sure that's expected too. Best for you. Very cute. Yeah, and this is like 10 days. Quick stop at the gym to go to ice bath. Yeah. Tummy is slowly getting a little more firm. And that's the thing. Your recovery is going to be so much better on a fruit-based diet. You're just going to bounce right back. And I know so many women who have been fruit-based and had children, had babies, and yeah, bounce right back. Like leaner stomach than me, some of them. It's amazing. It's almost back to normal. Ten days. So yeah, it's the best diet there is. Yeah, and she's a date addict. I feel you, girl. Anyway, go and check out my um, profile too. I am here. <laughs> and I just put up this video and it is very, very popular. People are loving this. This is a salted caramel Snickers bar. Snickers has a base made from almonds and date. So seriously good. And yes, it does have some seeds and it's not optimal food combining, but it is a very good alternative to the classic Snickers bar. So definitely go and check that recipe out. It is definitely a favorite and more and more recipes are coming all the time. So don't forget to go fruit yourself and I will see you soon. Let us know in the comments how you feel and talk to you later.